Hi there, everybody. This is Miss Nelson here, and today we are doing Lesson 7.3 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math books. Lesson 7.3 is called Add Fractions Using Models. So same thing, same sort of concept that we're doing or that we did in Lesson 7.1 and 7.2 where we add fractions. Just this time, we're going to use models to do it. So our problem says Miss Clark made a loaf of bread. She used one eighth of the bread for a snack and five eighths of the bread for lunch. How much did she use for a snack and lunch? So we're going to add one eighth and five eighths. Since these two numbers, these two fractions have the same denominator, it's going to be really easy to add. Um, I'm just going to do it up here really quick and then we're going to go through the steps in the models so that you can see what that looks like. Remember I told you in 7.1, the denominator stays the same, and all you have to do is add the numerators. So 5 plus 1 is 6. So the answer is that she used 6 eighths of the bread. But let's go ahead and figure it out using the picture, and then we'll do it using fraction strips just so you can see what that looks like. It says here that 1 eighth is 1 eighth size piece of bread. So we're just looking at the numerator. 5 eighths is 5 eighths size pieces of bread. So shade in 1 eighth and then shade in 5 eighths. So we're going to shade in 1 and then we're going to shade in 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we can count now that that is 6 eighth size pieces that she used or 6 eighths of the bread. Pretty easy. Another way is to use fraction strips. So the one represents the whole loaf of the bread, and then each one eighth part represents one eighth size piece of the bread. So it's like it slices. And so we're going to color in our one eighth that she used, that Miss Clark used for the snack. And then we're going to color in five more that she used for her lunch. And same thing. How many one eighth size parts are shaded? 6, so 1 8 plus 5 8 equals 6 8, so she used 6 8 of the bread. Pretty easy. As long as they have the same denominator, then all you have to do, keep it the same denominator, and just add the top. So 5 plus 1 is 6. That's it. That's the whole entire lesson, 7.3. And it would be the same way for subtraction. If you're going to do, this lesson of course is just adding, but if you're going to do subtraction, is if the denominator is the same, then you just look at the numerators and instead of adding, you would subtract. Okay, if you're in my class, the password is Goofy, and you should have filled out page 275 when you are watching this video to let me know you finished the whole thing. If you have any questions, as always, just leave me a message. Thank you.